Hey, greetings, traders and investors. Bennett Tendall, TradingAnalysis.com. It's Tuesday afternoon, July 26th, 2022. Alphabet just reported earnings per share of $1.21 versus estimates of $1.28. And this was on revenue of $69.69 billion versus estimates of 69.9. YouTube advertising revenue came in at $7.34 billion versus estimates of $7.52. Google Cloud revenue $6.28 billion versus estimates of $6.41 billion. Traffic acquisition costs are actually better than expected, coming in at $12.21 billion versus estimates of $12.4 billion. 4, 1 billion. Taking a look at the after hours price action in shares of Google, we can see an initial move to the downside 103 spot 05. Typically speaking, the first uh, move following the report is typically the wrong move. We did get a bit of a bid back up here to 109 and change, a bit of consolidation, and then further upside. Now, that said, taking a look at the daily chart of Google, I still think the overall trend continues to be lower following the 155 handle high back from Feb 2nd. Now looking at this trend, this does appear to be a trend establishing five wave move. And we've been talking about how we view price action in the world of Elliott Wave and the two classifications of developments. We have trend establishing motive waves, which move in the direction of the higher degree or more dominant trend. And then we also have counter trend corrective waves, which move against the higher degree or more dominant trend. So taking a look at price action in Google Let's take a look at the overall Elliott Wave count. And if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen the chart that I posted earlier today. And the chart that I posted earlier today indicated that we had a five wave trend lower from the July 20th high, which means we should rally back or could rally back briefly before a turn south for new lows. I did mention an alternate that would suggest the low actually occurred and the correction is over and that this is some sort of a really sideways and prolonged counter trend consolidation and that chart was offered as an alternate over here as you can see wave count and validation on this chart 101 spot 89 so what on earth does all of this mean well i'm glad you asked let's take a look at the daily chart of google and here on the daily chart we can see the 155 handle high back from february 2nd we have a trend establishing decline into Feb 24th, three waves back into April, that yielded a sizable decline into May 24th. The decline into the May 24th low met our typical 161.8% third wave FIB objective or relationship to wave one. You'll notice we have these levels color coordinated in our trading analysis edition of Motive Wave. Fantastic charting platform if you are not only serious about Elliott Wave, but serious about technical analysis in general. Now, I want you to notice the move back up into June 6th. The move up into June 6th found resistance at the equality projection of the Wave 2. Said otherwise, in the world of Elliott Wave, corrections of the same degree will often tend towards equality, either duration, magnitude, or both. In this case, we can see that the magnitude of this upside rally in wave two was essentially equal to the upside developments from May 24th into the June 3rd high. From there, we move lower, move higher, move lower. We've been setting higher lows, but then we made a new low that did take out the low from the 5th, and it also exceeded the low from the 16th, uh, correction, the 17th. Now, we have yet to break south of the third wave May 24th low at 101 spot 89, but I must admit, based on the current wave count, the decline, the break lower does appear to be imminent. And then alternatively, as we looked at in the alternate chart there on my Twitter post, if this is truly a trend establishing upside development, we will have the clarity to suggest that's the case, and that will then offer some very positive reward risk trading opportunities. But I still think this chart goes lower. Let's move now off of the daily time frame, and I'll show you everything that's happened off of the daily and down on the 30 minute chart. So here we can see a 30 minute chart, and on the bottom left corner of your screen, we have the May 24th low up in wave A, down in A, up in B, down in C. That makes an A, B, C correction completing July 8th. From July 8th, I have it down in, five waves into July 14th, back in three waves into July 20th. July 20th met that color coordinated 61% uh, 
typical retracement level for a wave two position. And then what I was mentioning in the Twitter post was this five wave decline here. And let's now adjust scale, zoom in on this price action and talk about this trend lower. So what we have is five waves from July 20th into today's low. We've seen a move back up after hours and shares of Google to as high as 109 spot 59, correction, 109 spot 94. So now what we need to see is a retracement. And this is why I suggested in my Twitter post today that we could see a corrective retracement before the turn lower to break the May low actually occurs, which means there's still a short opportunity on this particular chart. If we do turn and break lower, we have a confluence of FIB targets 94 to 98. If we break the 100 handle, that is where I would expect the five wave decline to come to completion. Now, zooming you back down to the 30 minute time frame, the trend lower in five waves could technically also complete a counter trend pullback going back to the high from June 6th. That would mean that we actually have five waves up from May into June. A, B, C, W, sharp X, A, B, and C. You could even do something a little strange with this chart and go A, triangle B, down in C. It really doesn't matter. The implications are the five wave decline from July 20th into today's low could technically complete all of a wave two correction. That said, I seriously have my doubts. So what we need to see now is how Google responds following today's move how it responds in the cash session tomorrow. And if in fact we see three waves back, we'll be using this chart as an opportunity to take on some short exposure, targeting a move down to 100. Whereas alternatively, if markets are truly trying to break the now seven month plus downtrend that we've been in, then this could be a very long one too. And if that is the case, we will have the clarity to suggest that. And not only that, we will have a very well-defined zone of risk to take advantage of a long trade. Let's imagine, for instance, an entry at 110. That assumes 7% of downside risk to get 10% back to the initial target and 21% back to the impulsive take profit target. Either way, we'll be looking to take advantage of this with our clients at tradinganalysis.com. Hope you enjoyed the short chart update in shares of Alphabet, a.k.a. more formerly known as, or more commonly known as, rather, Google. Keep your eyes on the after hours. Keep your eyes on the cash session tomorrow. We've got a ton of earnings left to report for the week. We've got GDP, PCE, as well as the Fed decision. So stay tuned, and I'll see you all tomorrow morning for our Wednesday live stream show. Take care. Have a good one.